Hi everyone, it's Rudis Galang from smartfinancialplanning.info. Welcome to our SFP case study series number two. So our case study for today is about how to save for your retirement fund in 10 years. So will you save in a bank or invest in a VL plan? Now, let's take a look at the sample case study that we have. Our sample case study is about a single woman who wants to save for her retirement for a period of 10 years only. Now, she needs help in choosing from the two options on how to save for her retirement. So her first option is to save in a bank and her second option is to get a VL policy for her retirement fund. So let's take a look at the sample client's profile. Her name is Lisa and she's 25 years old she's single now she's earning 25,000 pesos a month and her budget for her retirement fund is 5,000 pesos a month okay so for her health condition she's a non-smoker and no existing illness at all now let's take a look at the sample computation table that we have prepared for lisa so that we can show her how much will be her retirement fund if she will choose to save in a bank? Now, assuming po na bibigyan po siya ni bank ng 1% annual interest rate, let's see how much will be her retirement fund. Now, on the table, we can see dun sa first column yung number of years ng pagdadeposit ni Lisa sa banko. And then on the second column po, yung age ni Lisa. On the third column, yung annual deposit na 40,000 pesos. So, if you could look at the table, 10 years lang po na magde-deposit si Lisa ng 40,000 pesos every year sa kanyang banko kasi nga ang gusto po niya ay pag-ipunan yung kanyang retirement fund for a period of 10 years only. Okay? So, she's just going to wait after 10 years kung magkano po yung kikitain ng kanyang savings sa bank. Now, on the fourth column is the interest wherein pinapakita po dito kung magkano po yung potential na interest na pwedeng kitain ng savings ni Lisa sa banko. And then on the last column is the bank balance of Lisa wherein pinapakita po natin dito kung magkano po pag pinapakita po natin dito kung magkano magiging bank balance ni Lisa kapag inad na po natin yung annual deposit niya plus yung interest na kinita ng kanyang savings sa bank. So if Lisa will plan to retire by the age of 55, then she will get a retirement fund of 510,635 pesos and 50 cents, okay? Now if she plans to retire by the age of 60, then she will have 536,683 pesos. Now, if she plans to retire by the age of 65, then she will have a retirement fund of 564,059 pesos and 30 cents. Okay, so yan po yung magiging retirement fund ni Lisa kung mag-iipon po siya sa banko ng 40,000 pesos every year for a period of 10 years. Now, let's take a look at the sample computation table that we have prepared for Lisa kung kukuha po siya ng isang VL policy. Now, in a VL policy, meron po siyang life insurance plus an investment account, okay? Now, assuming po nakikita po ng 10% fund earning rates every year yung investment account ni Lisa sa VL policy niya, then let's see kung magkano po aabutin yung retirement fund ni Lisa. Okay, so sa table po na ito, sa first column is yung number of years ng pagbabayad ni Lisa ng premium payment sa kanyang VL policy. And then, on the second column, yung age naman po ni Lisa. And then on the third column ay yung annual premium na babayaran po ni Lisa para sa kanyang VL policy. So that's 40,000 pesos every year for her basic premium. Okay, so sa basic premium po na babayaran ni Lisa sa kanyang VL policy, a portion of it... A portion of it goes to her life insurance coverage and a portion of it goes to her investment accounts. Okay? Now, as you can see, 10 years lang din po na magbabayad si Lisa ng premium payment para sa kanyang VL policy since we want to show her kung magkano po yung magiging retirement fund niya sa isang VL policy kung 10 years lang din po siya na magbabayad ng premium payment. So, after 10 years, aantay na lang din po niya na mag-grow yung fund dun sa kanyang investment account. Okay, sa fourth column naman po, makikita natin yung life insurance coverage ni Lisa dito sa VUL policy na kinuha niya. So, that's 1 million pesos. Okay, so when we say life insurance coverage, yan po yung makukuha ng mga beneficiaries na inanominate ni Lisa sa kanyang uh, policy. Okay, now let's say for example, in the second year ng pagbabayad niya sa kanyang VUL policy, if she dies unexpectedly, Okay, then her nominated beneficiaries will get 
1 million pesos and that's guaranteed. Okay? So, kahit na hindi pa natapos ni Lisa na bayaran yung kanyang VUL policy, automatic po yun, guaranteed na makukuha yan ng kanyang mga beneficiary yung life insurance coverage na 1 million pesos. Okay, doon sa last column naman po ng ating table, which shows the investment portion doon sa kanyang VUL policy. Now, this one, eto po, hindi po guaranteed yung pwedeng kitain ni Lisa dito sa kanyang investment account. Unlike doon sa life insurance coverage nga po ni Lisa, yung 1 million guaranteed na po kagad yun. Okay, the, um, the moment that she paid her premium para sa VUL policy and the approve po yung kanyang VUL policy guaranteed that she has 1 million pesos life insurance coverage. Pero sa investment portion po ng kanyang VUL policy, then this is dependent dun sa magiging fund performance ng kanyang mga investment accounts sa stock market or dun sa or kung saan in-invest yung kanyang mga fund per 4 months. So, yung pwede pong kitain ni Lisa dito sa kanyang investment account ay dependent po sa magiging fund performance ng kanyang mga funds sa market. Okay? So, depende po yan kung in-invest po sa stocks or sa bonds. Now, I'm sure familiar kayo sa stock market na tumataas, bumababa. So, depende talaga sa galaw ng, ng stock market or, or kung saan inilagay yung funds niya. Now, in a VUL policy for an insurance company, mga professional fund managers na po yung magmamanage ng mga funds po ninyo doon sa investment account. So, as a policy owner or since kayo po yung kumuha ng VUL policy, pero si Lisa po ang magda-decide kung ilang percentage po ang i-invest sa iba't ibang investment accounts. So, pwedeng kung gusto niyang ilagay 70% sa stocks and then 30% sa bonds, then she can do so. Okay? So, it, it's Lisa's decision kung saan po niya ilalagay. So, si Lisa po ang mamimili kung ilang percentage ang gusto niyang ilagay sa iba't ibang investment accounts. Okay? Now, assuming assuming po na 10% fund earning rates nga ang kikitain ni Lisa dito sa kanyang investment account sa VUL policy na kinuha niya. So, yan po yung risk na kailangan i-consider ni Lisa kung kukuha po siya ng VUL policy para sa kanyang retirement fund. Okay? Since yung sa investment portion nga, it's not guaranteed. But then again, the higher the risk, the higher the returns. Okay, since ang purpose naman ni Lisa for getting this VUL policy is for her to save for her retirement fund, then it's going to be a long-term investment for her, diba? So, usually what we advise to people if they want to really make their money grow in terms of investment, then they have to invest it for long-term, okay? So, titignan natin ngayon kung magkano yung pwedeng maging retirement fund ni Lisa dito sa VUL policy na to. Okay, so tingnan po natin kung magkano po yung magiging retirement fund ni Lisa dito sa kanyang VUL policy, assuming po na 10% po yung magiging fund earning rates niya sa kanyang mga investment accounts. Okay, so assuming po nakikita po ng 10% fund earning rates, okay, yung investment accounts ni Lisa sa kanyang VUL policy, then if Lisa plans to retire by the age of 55, so she will have a retirement fund of 3,730,133 pesos. Now, pansinin niyo rin po, okay, dun sa life insurance coverage ni Lisa, uh, dun sa portion wherein she turned 43 years old, okay, since ang investment account po niya ay kumita ng 1,125,000, 1,125,488 pesos. Yung life insurance coverage din po niya ay naging equivalent dun sa investment um, account niya. Okay, so kasi sa specific VUL policy na po ito, kapag po ang investment value or ang fund value dun sa investment account mo ay mas naging higher na po kaysa dun sa life insurance coverage mo, then yun na rin po yung magiging equivalent ng life insurance coverage mo. So, yun na po yung automatic na magiging life insurance coverage. Now, if she plans to retire by the age of 60, then her retirement fund will be 6,125,027 pesos. Okay? And then, ganun din po yung magiging life insurance coverage na same lang din po dun sa value ng kanyang investment account. Now, if she plans to retire by the age of 65, then her retirement fund will be 10,062,558 pesos. And ganun din po ang magiging value ng kanyang life insurance coverage. Okay? So, if you would compare, okay, saving in a bank 
or getting a VUL plan, syempre may pros and cons, ba? Diba? As you can see, dun sa saving in a bank, sigurado ka dun sa 1% annual interest rate. Pero, the lower the risk, the lower the returns. So, ang magiging retirement fund lang ni Lisa, by the time that she reaches age 65, ay 564,059 pesos and 30 cents. Compared to the... 10 million 62,558 pesos na pwedeng maging retirement fund ni Lisa kung magi invest siya in a VUL plan. But again, with the VUL plan, as I've said, it's not guaranteed and there are risks that Lisa has to consider. But the higher the risk, the higher the returns. Okay? And at the same time, the advantage of having a life insurance coverage. Okay? So, yan ang additional benefit ng isang VUL policy, which Saving in a bank doesn't have. So, wala kang life insurance coverage kapag ang ginamit mong option sa pagpuputap ng retirement fund mo or sa pag-iipon sa retirement fund mo is saving in a bank. ba? Diba? Okay. Now, ang basic premium po lumalabas doon sa babayaran po ni Lisa kung 40,000 pesos uh, a year doon sa kanyang VUL policy is 3,333 pesos per month. Okay? And that will give her 1 million pesos coverage or death benefit and that's guaranteed okay so yung VUL policy din po ni Lisa has what we call the total disability waiver for 54 pesos and 81 cents a month okay she will have a total disability waiver meaning to say if in case na maging disabled si Lisa kumbaga hindi na siya makapag-work hindi siya makapagtrabaho or hindi na niya kaya na magbayad dun sa premium payment niya for the VUL policy, then i waive po ng insurance company yung kanyang premium payment at yung insurance company na po ang magtutuloy ng pagbabayad dun sa kanyang uh, policy. So, ibig sabihin po nun, magtutuloy-tuloy pa rin po yung insurance policy niya and ibig sabihin nun, makukuha pa rin po niya, pwede pa rin po niya makuha yung kumbaga, total amount of retirement fund that she would want to have or Andun pa rin po yung 1 million life insurance coverage niya kasi itutuloy ng insurance company yung pagbabayad ng premium. Okay, so ang total monthly premium po niya lumalabas po na 3,387 pesos and 81 cents a month. Okay? Okay, so let's look at the difference um, sa iba't ibang situation na pwedeng ma-encounter ni Lisa. Okay? So let's say for example, if you die at the age of 30, okay, dun sa sample computation table natin sa bank savings ni Lisa, okay, she will only have 204,040 pesos and 20 cents. Now, sa VUL plan po ni Lisa, she will have 1 million pesos guaranteed as her as the death benefit or life insurance coverage. So, may makukuha po yung nominated beneficiaries ni Lisa na 1 million pesos. Now, ang potential retirement fund ni Lisa by the age of 60, sa bank savings niya, it will be 536,683 pesos compared sa VUL plan na 6,125,027 pesos. Okay, potential retirement fund naman ni Lisa by the age of 65, sa bank savings po niya is 564,059 pesos and 30 cents. Compared po sa VUL plan, ang retirement fund po ni Lisa potentially with 10,062,558 pesos. Okay. Now, say for example, if you get disabled at the age of 28, okay, so sa bank savings po ni Lisa, meron po siyang maiipon na 121,204 pesos. And since na-disabled na po siya, hindi na siya makapagtrabaho, hindi na rin po siya makakapag-deposit ng 40,000 pesos every year. So hanggang siya na lang po yung savings niya. But with the VUL plan, okay, to a VUL plan po ni Lisa, if she gets disabled at the age of 28, then the insurance company will continue to pay for her premiums. So, pwede pong matuloy pa rin yung pag-iipon niya ng retirement fund until sa kuhain po niya yung value ng retirement fund niya sa VUL plan. Okay, so pinapakita po natin dito yung difference sa iba't ibang situation na pwedeng ma-encounter ni Lisa or pwede nyo rin pong ma-encounter na kung ang option mo ay ang pagsisave sa bank or getting a VUL plan for your retirement fund. Okay? Now, I'd like to leave you with this question. 
when you grow old and when you retire, sabihin na natin na parang isang bola. Pwedeng pag-aagawan ka or pagpapasahan. When we say pag-aagawan, yan yung meron kang enough na retirement fund so hindi ka magiging pabigat sa pamilya mo, especially sa mga anak mo. Kasi kaya mong supportahan yung needs mo in, and even yung wants mo kahit na retired ka na, kahit na hindi ka na nagtatrabaho. Yung pinagpapasahan naman, yan yung since wala kang naipon na retirement fund para mag-provide para sa mga needs and wants mo, pwedeng yung mga anak natin mabibigatan dun sa responsibility para alagaan ka or para mag-provide sa needs mo. So, pwedeng ang tendency ay pagpasapasahan ka nila kung kanino ka dapat magstay or kung kanino ka pwedeng magstay. So, ask yourself, kapag tanda ninyo, when you retire, when you're no longer able to work, and when you're no longer able to work, ano bang mas gusto nyo? Yung bolang pinag-aagawan or pinagpapasahan? Okay, so that's it for now. So, so I hope you learned something from our sample case study. And I hope na tulungan natin si Lisa na makapag-decide kung anong options ang gagamitin niya para sa pag-iipon sa kanyang retirement fund for a period of 10 years only. So, I hope you also learned something kung paano nyo paghahandaan yung retirement fund din nyo. Or if you have a different case na gusto mo mabigyan ng sagot, then just message us so we can help you. Now, if you have... Any questions at all about life insurance, financial planning, retirement, estate planning, education planning, savings or in investment, or how to budget, or anything about personal finances, then you can contact us through our FB page, or you could SMS Viber us or call us through our numbers, and, or you could visit our website www.smartfinancialplanning.info. And you could also check all the other posts that we have there na pwede pong makatulog sa inyo. Okay, so that's it for now. So we'll see you on our next SFP case study series. Okay? Thank you. Bye!